It is the limited identities of race, religion, nationality which breed conflict and violence. Our attachment to boundaries, the source of it is in our attachment to our physical form, that is our body. Once you're identified with this body, you naturally get identified with various levels of boundaries. You may call it family, you may call it a geographical boundary or maybe the color of your skin. In terms of thought, emotional boundaries, thought boundaries and boundaries of belief systems. In so many ways we keep drawing boundaries because fundamentally we understand life as a physical entity. Physical entities exist only because of defined boundaries. If there is no defined boundary, there is no physical. The more you're identified with your physical self, the more you will be attached to various other boundaries that you draw. So removal of boundaries is not going to happen by changing attitudes or by changing belief systems. It is only possible when your experience of life transcends the limitations of your physicality. When you begin to experience, when it becomes a live experience for you, that something beyond your physical accumulation that you call as body is touched by you, then naturally your attachment to various boundaries that you may be identified with in terms of family, club, association, society, nation, race, religion, caste, creed, all this will simply dissolve. You cannot fight it. You cannot hope that by extending your boundary you will be better. Well, larger boundaries will create larger conflicts. So it's important that every human being should have this experience of knowing that something beyond your physical nature lives within you and that must be in your conscious experience. If that happens, your attachments to boundaries will come down and in turn, the basic cause of conflict and violence could be largely dissipated.